Have you recently started a YouTube channel? Yes! But you don't know how to make a thumbnail. It's for now, we need to turn to McSpeed! Alright, alright, fuck. Roll, roll the tape. <laughs> Okay, no, there's actually a serious part to this video, so you want to know how to make a thumbnail. Now, the way I make my thumbnails is pretty simple, actually. It's much simpler than, than it looks. So, um, for videos like The Crew, uh, what I do is I go in the game and I basically record the snapshot mode that the crew has because I don't have the, the uh, Steam version, so I don't know how to make, I don't know how to take uh, screenshots of, uh, of the game. Um, whatnot. So I just record it and then I come on here on to Vegas Pro and I get the footage in and This is what I do. So appears here. Uh, I would go on full screen But uh, it would show up on my other screen where you wouldn't be able to see it. So this is the best I can show you So there you go uh, Then there, there's uh, what we're gonna be using for, for the thumbnail now I just click save snapshot to file just do it to desktop doesn't really matter where you put it and then you can just shut it off you, you just completely take that down because you already have your beautiful little picture here. Next thing you want to do is find a program like Photoshop or what I'm using for example paint.net beautiful program very very easy to use and it's free. So uh, you go on image canvas now because thumbnails look really good in 1080p I'll make this well 1080p and then by clicking control A you can remove the entire canvas. Now what you want to do is copy this image in so this is how you do it. Now, if you're not a fan of using screenshots from the game itself, you can always go on. The, you can always go on the internet and find a picture. I actually do that a lot with my videos. I don't know if you guys can tell. You probably can because most of you are not retarded. But uh, yeah, you can always get a screenshot like this from the internet, which you can use. I would use this, but uh, I have you know I can always ma I can make my thumbnails for the game, so it's fine. So I'm gonna close that down. Next thing I do is because the way the th the thing I do is I have a uh, a blue line as you can see that I just copy in. Uh, you make a new layer and you just throw it in. Uh, so I have the main focus of the thumbnail on the left side of the actual thumbnail, where this blue line is. And then what I do is I add the text over here. Now for that. To make it a little bit more fancy, what I do is I grab splatter. You can always just type in splatter into uh, Google search and you'll find it. Just copy that in and paste. Now, obviously it's, you know, small. So uh, we have to resize it. So if you hold shift, I think, yeah, it's shift. And then just resize it like that. Uh, there you go. Now, as you can tell, it covers the car. So you don't want that. So you, you can either move it out the way like this, which actually works really well. Or you can just resize it, uh, you know, to however you want. But that looks a bit rubbishy, so I think I'm going to go with the first thing, which was just move out the way. So you can see the skyline, and it's just beautiful and everything. Now, because we resized it, uh, it does appear to be a little bit blurry. Now, because it's a thumbnail, not many people will actually notice that unless they go on Google Search and see the thumbnail in its full beauty. But uh, you know, if people do that, if people actually do that, then uh, I just like to go on photo and sharpen. Now this won't be a stock effect, uh, stock effect uh, that comes with the program. You have to find that yourself. I don't want to do any packs like I did before because apparently the last pack I showed you guys had a Trojan. So um, yeah, I don't want to don't wanna make that mistake again. Anyway, so then we make a new layer. So this is where our text is going to be. So uh, we're just going to take uh, white text. And this is where getting different kind of fonts is very useful. For example, for my videos, for the majority of my videos, I use Friday the 13th. Yes, Friday the fucking 13th. And then you just resize it so it's much larger. So I don't know, let's, uh, I don't know, for this video, for this video, we can just call it, I don't know, Snow Race or something. Anything like so. Just resize it. Now, it's, it cut off a bit. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make this again so snow and it's now inside the image and just just tilt it slightly do whatever you want with the actual text it's all up to you uh, this is just how I make my thumbnails so once again uh, I get a different color that's why I do 
and let's just call it snow race. Now, obviously, because race is small, uh, yeah, much smaller than snow, we're going to resize it so it's bigger, or at least the same size. So let's go for that. As you can see, there we go. We have it in the round the same size. So now we just tilt it, just put it under it. Now, as you can see, it does go out of the actual uh, splatter. So what we're going to do is firstly you're going to do that. Uh, and now, just by doing Control A, you select the entire image, go on Object and Drop Shadow. And as you can see, it made this retarded as fuck effect. But uh, if you just put the color down to black, it looks a lot better already. But put the blur radius all the way down and just widen a bit. And as you can see, it actually looks much better. You can always uh, use the effect again and actually add the blurriness. So I'm going to do that right now. Just going to put this down, the widening radius just a bit down. There, there you go. Now I add another effect to my text, uh, which adds like this kind of weird kind of effect. I, I don't know what it's called. It's like a shiny almost effect, sort of. As you can see, that looks rubbishy. So just move the center over the text, where, around where the center is of the text. Just put the radius down. And then the density down as well. As you can see, it has this really cool kind of shiny effect to it. Yeah, I, I'm just so good with words. Um, for the last part of the thumbnail, all I do is just go on effects, uh, photo, and cross, cross? <laughs> cross processing. And this will mess around the colors, kind of add a filter that you would see on pretty much every Instagram post. Um, just mess around with that till you find like the, the sweet spot that you, uh, you're, you're comfortable, comfortable with. For example, I'm going to put the shadow down because I don't like how every black part of, of the actual photo is blue, like this. So we put that down a bit. And tint color, you can always mess around with that. Uh, it doesn't really change much. It only adds like one color, like in, and you can change it to about green, like so. That's a bit overkill. So I think I'm just going to stick with about this this much. And that's pretty much it for the thumbnail. Next part is just you know putting the everything together and just rendering out, which takes about a second. So I'm gonna put this on my desktop. Uh, I normally do JPEG because it's always you know good quality and low file size. So uh, let's just call it Snow Race the Crew. Oops. And it's 1.3 megabytes, which is under two megabytes, which YouTube will accept. And that's about it. <laughs> That, that is pretty much it. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed this tutorial and like to see more tutorials or maybe like a better explained tutorial, please let me know in the comment section below because, you know, feedback always helps. It really does always help. And uh, it's always nice to have feedback because, you know, feedback, feedback, feedback is really cool. Anyway, if you guys enjoy my videos in general and like to see more on my channel, then please subscribe as it always, you know, helps. And uh, tell me in the comment section below what you'd like to see in my videos. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching once again. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.